20 Craziest Animal Hybrids Animals, like humans, can come into contact with each other all the time. Sometimes this contact results in hybrids if the animals are similar enough. Whether out in the wild or grown in a lab, here's some of the craziest animal hybrids out there. 20. Ligers and Tigans No bears, but we'll get to that later. For now, we're talking strictly lion and tiger hybrids. A liger refers to the hybrid offspring of a male lion and a female tiger. On the other hand, a tigon refers to the hybrid of a lion mother and a tiger father, a much rarer occurrence. Since a liger's parents belong to the same genus, this sort of breeding makes it easier for it to be successful. A liger may behave like both big cats, sociable like a lion, and frequently swimming like tigers. Ligers also appear to be the largest of the big cats in the world, larger than any species of tiger or lion. 19. Zebroid Many things fall into the category of a zebroid, such as zedonks, azores, zeb mules, and more. Essentially, what constitutes as a zebroid would be any equine animal crossed with a zebra. Most of the time, these hybrid offspring come as a result of a female equine animal and a male zebra. Many zebroid hybrids end up with a form of dwarfism as well as infertility. The history of the zebroid goes as far back as the 19th century. Many times, a zebroid will look like the other animal in shape, but will usually still feature zebra stripes somewhere on their body, like this. This Zedong. 18. Wolfen Rarely does a wolfin come to exist in the world, as female bottlenose dolphins and male false killer whales rarely mate. But when they do, a wolfin is born. And it's not as strange as it sounds. After all, whales and dolphins both get categorized under the oceanic dolphin family, and the result makes for a really gray dolphin-looking whale. Some wolfins have been reported to live in the wild, but the first ever recorded wolfin was born at the SeaWorld in Tokyo in 1981. Although nowadays, only one wolfin exists in captivity, living at the Sea Life Park Park in Hawaii. 17. Koi Dog The occurrence of a koi dog may be lower than other candid hybrids such as koi wolves or wolf dogs since dogs do not form pair bonds with coyotes. Still, koi dogs have been known to exist, so it works somewhere. This usually only happens when coyotes have been introduced into new areas where there's a lack of other coyotes to mate with. Unlike many hybrids of other animals, a koi dog usually appears fertile. They've been known to be less trustworthy than other candid hybrids in captivity. 16. Jag Lion A jag lion's parents consist of a male jaguar and a female lion. An instance of jag lions being born took place back at the Bear Creek Wildlife Sanctuary in 2006, where a male jag lion named Tsunami and a female named Jazara were born after a lioness and a black jaguar mated. An unintended occurrence on the sanctuary's part, workers at the sanctuary didn't even know that the female lion was even fertile. Jazara seems more black than her brother Tsunami, who appears more like this mounted specimen on display at the Walter Rothschild Zoological Museum in England. 15. Beefalo When domestic cattle and American bison get together and mate, the resulting offspring may be referred to as a beefalo or sometimes even cattalo. The beefalo were documented as far back as 1749 in the English colonies of North America when they were noticed amongst the population, seemingly accidental breeding. It wasn't until a century later where cattle and bison were intentionally crossbred. With this, the intention was to combine both bovine characteristics as a means of production for their meat. 14. Narluga one of the silliest looking creatures in the sea may just be the narluga, whose features combine those of a big-headed beluga whale and the snout and teeth of a narwhal. They very much look like the beluga whale seen in this photo, but appear much more gray the way a narwhal would. Since they both belong to the monodontidae family and live in the Arctic Ocean, it seems that their cross-population has been steadily growing in the area, especially in the Bering Sea. Scientists think this may be attributed to the warming of the Arctic, driving species that were once far apart in distance much closer. 13. Zoe a male hybrid the result of a wild yak and domestic cattle may be called a zoo, while female hybrids often get referred to as a zomo. While females may be fertile, a male zoo is usually sterile. They often get bred since these hybrids appear bigger and stronger than both yak and cattle, making them perfect for serving as a pack animal. In places like Tibet and Mongolia, they seem to produce a higher percentage of milk as well. 12. Kama when you take a dromedary camel like this one and breed it with a female llama, you get the ever so cleverly named hybrid known as Kama. Since a dromedary camel may be much larger than a llama, the breeding has to happen by way of artificial insemination. In 1998, the first Kama was born. By 2008, at least five Kamas were reported to have been born. They seem to take a lot after camels, though their size appears closer to llamas. A Kama has the same herbivore diet as its parents and can drink a lot of water at one time so that it's able to survive with little water for extended periods of time. 
11. Millard Pekin ducks and Muscovy ducks do not belong to the same genera, so not only is their breeding mixing two species, the differences go a little further than that. These ducks are called mullard ducks. Sometimes they may be referred to as mule ducks in part because they're born sterile. Commercial farms breed the ducks for their meat, as mullards tend to have leaner meat. 10. Iron Age Pig in Australia, the breeding of Iron Age pigs happens in nature. Though the modern area of breeding Iron Age pigs started in the 1980s in Tamworth, England, the term Iron Age pigs comes from the image of what pigs were depicted as in works of art from the Iron Age. These pigs were huge, which is why modern Iron Age pigs are bred from a wild boar and a domestic pig. 9. Yaez there's so many different types of hoofed animals with horns that it can be difficult differentiating them at all. Different species of wild ibex, such as Nubian, Alpine, Asian, or Bazaar, may breed with a domestic goat, resulting in the hybrid animal known as Yaez. A Yaez may have all sorts of different physical characteristics. It really just depends on the kid's parents. However, when the breeding is controlled, its physical appearance can turn out distinct from a purebred ibex like these ones pictured here. The American ibex can usually be found in ranches, mostly in Texas. 8. Leopon When you cross a lion male leopard with a female lion, you get what's called a leopon. That might not be the most creative name, but that's what we were dealt with. Most leopons were bred in captivity and rarely occur in the wild if at all. They appear much like this model, light brown, beige fur, tufted tails, and spots. They appear physically like smaller lions with spots of a leopard. A majority of leopons were bred in zoos, such as those in Italy, Germany, and Japan. 7. Bengal Cat a Bengal cat refers to a feline that combines the DNA of a domestic cat and an Asian leopard cat. They were bred in order to resemble exotic animals such as leopards and ocelots, yet have the size of a smaller domestic cat. As far as behavior goes, if the cat has been bred through three generations, it will likely exhibit the behavior of a docile domestic cat rather than its wild counterpart. They don't shed much and have a preference for water as a form of entertainment. Their appearances vary depending on the domestic cat, but they will usually have the markings on their fur. 6. Zubron You've heard of the beefalo, now let's talk about the Zubron, the result of domestic cattle breeding with the wisent, a European bison. They may resemble their close relatives, the beefalo, though you do see the visible differences. The first reported Zubron were created in 1874 by Leopold Wolicki. Some believe other Zubron may have existed earlier. This experimentation would continue well into the 1980s. Males can weigh up to 1,200 kilograms or 2,600 pounds, while females may weigh up to 810 kilograms or 1,700 190 pounds. 5. Koi Wolf The cross between a coyote and a wolf may be either called a koi wolf or a wayote. Their genes diverged from 6,000 to 117,000 years ago. Some of these hybrid offspring may grow to be larger than coyotes, already much larger than coyote pups from birth. A few species of koi wolves vary with the appearance of these hybrids, such as those with the red wolves, the Mexican gray wolf, and eastern coyotes. The highest levels of admixture in coyotes occur the most in Canada, from Alaska all the way to Atlanta. To Canada. 4. Geep A cute name for a rare but cute hybrid. A geep may refer to the result of the combined embryos of a sheep or the offspring of a sheep and a goat. You might even mix up goats and sheep all the time since they look so similar, but they do belong to different genera. In 2000, a geep was born to a male sheep and female goat at the Botswana Ministry of Agriculture. It was described as having the woolly inner coat like a sheep and a coarse outer coat with long goat legs and a stout sheep body. Geeps are usually infertile. By 2011 to 2014, a few healthy geep were born around the world. 3. Human-Animal Hybrids Then we get to the topic of human-animal hybrids, a subject that has stirred a lot of controversy throughout the years. You may have seen this photo circulating the internet recently of a supposed cat-human hybrid found in Malaysia, though Malaysian authorities claim this to be a false story, but it does add to the discussion of what is ethical and what is not. It was reported last year that human-pig embryos were successfully grown in the lab, with the purpose of pigs carrying human organs. This raised ethical questions of whether the pigs were would then develop a human consciousness. In the early 2000s, scientists at the Shanghai Second Medical University successfully fused human cells with rabbit eggs. 2. Wolf Dog Another candid hybrid we'll discuss is the wolf dog. The breeding of a domestic dog with the either gray or red wolf, Ethiopian wolves, or the eastern timber. Dogs and gray wolves especially share lots of genes, populations of wolf dogs found in North America and Europe. This usually results in rather healthy animals, though their behavior patterns may be difficult to predict when it comes to whether they'll lean more towards being a wolf 
or a dog. The same goes for their appearance. Because they're so genetically close, it may be difficult deciphering wolf dogs from wolves. So many wolf dog populations may be subject to phenotyping so that scientists can conclude which is which. 1. Growler Bears A growler bear comes from what it sounds like, the mixing of polar bears and their southern counterparts, grizzly bears. It appears these two types of huge bears have a lot in common genetically. Instances of growler bears have occurred in both captivity and in the wild, a growing occurrence in nature as the Arctic warms, forcing polar bears to retrieve further south to mate. <laughs>